Okay, let's take a look at another um, another application. And then we'll create a pizza application. So we have an example pizza. Um, application. Okay, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna use a list box here. So let me double click that. Now we got the list box. Um, it also has got its own properties and so forth. I'm gonna go change the font on it to 20, just like always. There we go. <coughs> now I wanna I wanna populate the list box. And um, over here, you see there's an items property, and then there's a three dots here. You might be able to right click on it and get to it also. Uh, edit items, yeah. And uh, this is what we're going to have available. So, um, assuming I can spell it, pepperoni. Doesn't look right. Okay, we're not going to offer pepperoni because I can't spell it. Sausage, uh, hamburger. Could be beef. Uh, Canadian bacon. Uh, onion. Mushroom. Eh, that's probably not. Now click OK. Now we can resize this. Now if all of your items fit on your your uh, component, then uh, you don't see any bar over here. But if they go beyond what can appear on the screen, you see a scroll bar up here. And that handles it on Mac. We don't have to program any of that. When you run this, and just like any other application, you, you scroll down to see um, do that. Okay. Now we're going to uh, build our pizza. So we'll have a button here, and we'll have it say Add. And that'll add in our ingredient. And also want it to be a larger size font. There we go. And when that um when I click add, I want it to drop it into a text box. So I got my um oh um text box and we'll go change the font again change that to 20 now we also got um, a property down here that says multi-line controls with the text of the edit can, can span more than one line so I can set that true if I want so if uh, need be then uh, it'll it'll grow now initially I want to say um, uh, cheese pizza or pizza with cheese so I come here for the text I'll put in pizza and cheese okay then uh, the idea behind this is is each time they um, click one of these, it'll um, uh, pend it on to this. Okay, so I'm going to click the add. Well, actually, I better name these first, I guess. Uh, the name of that one, this box. Um, I'll say L box underscore ingredients. I spelled it right. This one I'll call tech. Um, TB underscore um, order. Okay, let me resize this. There we go. And then we'll give the form, uh, change its text to. I'll call this pizza order. 
Okay, so I'm gonna double click uh, the add program if, and um, we want to build upon the text box depending upon what's selected. Now um, I'm gonna have a string here, and uh, I'll call it selection. Sometimes that's a reserved word, but we'll s see if it causes us problems. And um, now, s selected index refers to which one is selected. And if it's set to negative 1, then nothing's still been selected. So I say if lbox ingredients dot selected index is not equal to negative 1, the exclamation is the, the not equal. Then we'll do our beginning brace, closing brace. And I'm going to say that um, our selection will equal to lbox ingredients dot selected item dot to string. Selected item is the actual object, and so you have to reference it or have to um, convert that to a string. Now we need to append that onto our text box. We've got our order dot text is equal to order dot text plus, and I'll have a quote or a comma plus my selection. Now the plus you see here that's a concatenation. So I'll take the old the value of what's in the text and I'll concatenate on a comma and then whatever the selection was. Now, if I run run this, let's see uh, how close it is to working. I click that. Put sausage on there. I click onion. Put that on there. Beef. Put sausage again. Mushroom. And I build my pizza. Uh, so this shows you how you can use a um, a list box to uh, have a variety of um, variety of items to choose from. Sometimes it's preferable, especially if you got like state. If you're going to have uh, 50 states, instead of having 50 um, labels with 50 um, maybe radio but or no 50 radio buttons, let's say, and you want them to choose a state, then you can let them choose a state this way. So that's our example of um, using a list box, and we're going to get a lot more depth in the list box once we get into looping and other constructs.